okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a standing wave is formed on a string p and q are adjacent anti nodes on the wave three statements are made by a student number 1 the distance between p and q is half a wavelength p and q have a phase difference of a pi radian and the energy trans is transferred between p and q which statements are correct okay my dear students this question belongs to the topic of standing waves now what are standing waves so what we know about this is like let us say i'm, I'm making a diagram here the adjacent anti nodes they will look somewhat like this like this so this will be the first anti node this will be the node and this will become the second anti node so now according to the question p and q are the, the adjacent anti nodes okay so this is the diagram and this is the node so definitely according to our first statement the distance between p and q is half the wavelength and yes absolutely you are starting from uh, one uh, crest and you moving to the trough and then if you move back to the crest it becomes the full wavelength but now it is half wavelength so this statement is absolutely correct there is no doubt about it now p and q have a phase difference of pi radians so we know that if the complete wavelength is there so the phase difference becomes 2 pi and when you divide it by 2 because only half of the wavelength is spent so definitely the phase difference is also coming out to be pi there is no doubt about it so if if you if you take the example of y is equal to cos theta you can see this angle is 0 and this will be pi so from that also we find that the phase difference between p and q is pi there is no doubt now energy is transferred between p and q well absolutely this statement is wrong because that is what is the basic characteristic of a standing wave what is a standing wave the standing wave is a wave in which node in which a particle which is which which is a node once it will never have an amplitude it will always be zero and it will never be um, having any energy there so its energy was zero is zero and it will always be zero but what about this segment and what about this segment now these two segments there are if if let us say i'm talking about this particle this particle goes up it goes down and come come back again so this region has a kinetic energy potential energy hence this region is having a total energy so this segment is having energy this segment is having energy but that energy is is a uh, caught up between two nodes let us say there is another node here like this so this segment is having certain energy with itself and the energy is not transferred from one segment into another it does not move from one point to the another so that is why this statement is absolutely wrong so our answer will be a so this is how we explain this question if there is any other doubt regarding standing waves please do mention in the comment section so i would be posting some videos regarding this i know this topic uh, is one of the most difficult topics in ip physics 12 standard so please uh, mention that in the comment section so this is professor varun all the best bye